Hello everybody and welcome back. I am KRX and we're going to be continuing on this playthrough for Complete Beginners for Crusader Kings 3. We are now the Duke of Provence. Um, third generation Count of Provence. Of course our our father. Actually, well actually interestingly enough we're actually only second generation, right? We were Count Bosin. This is who we started with. And then our brother took over for a little bit. But we kind of intentionally sabotaged our brother even as our brother. And then it kind of went over to this guy here, um, his his younger brother. And that's who we're playing as now. 36-year-old genius, pilgrim. We have a wife who's intelligent. Our kids are popping out mostly geniuses. We have, we have two sons right now, two sons. Our wife is actually about getting old enough that she will no longer be able to have additional kids. We have an alliance with the Doge of Venice, and that's giving us some good benefits. And also we have a betrothal for um for the heir to wessex and when this guy takes over um he might not be nearly as powerful as alfred the great but at least uh, the wessex is a petty kingdom and we'll get a certain amount of renown for that which will be great man alfred is just so insanely powerful so insanely powerful we have gained our independence from italy we're going to wait about a month here because i want us to make sure that things update and totally refresh um because what we're going to need to do is this lady doesn't even hate us nearly as much anymore which is kind of interesting but i'm thinking about joining they grow up so fast nice so our daughter's aged up i'm thinking about swearing fealty to the french king because we're ambitious it is going to cost us a little bit of stress but that's okay so we are going to become part of the french West Francia. Booyah. Although the funny thing is, man, he's only got one son, too. Wow. Wow. So we are now a duke under the... Now we are in West Francia. And we can start operating within that sphere. Which means, I think, attacking these guys. Because what we're going to try to do is we're actually trying to maybe form our own kingdom of Burgundy, or at least unify a lot of the kingdom of Burgundy. Now, it turns out that a lot of this is actually French land, so we might actually want to convert our culture back to French. You, you cannot willingly change your culture more than once per lifetime. Hmm. What, how's the French culture doing on some of these things? There's not that many differences between these two cultures. The Octanes have Mots, but the French have Barracks. We're actually a little bit closer to actually getting this done and getting a lot of these other really important ones done. This one's going to be a big one, right? So you know what? I don't know. Maybe, maybe we kind of keep it the way that maybe we keep it the way that it is, um, and we, and we just we do go this direction. This is interesting. This is interesting. We need to start making claims. We need to start going, moving and grooving here. We need to start moving and grooving. This is stuff that is of our culture. He's going to make us a steward. We are, of course, a very good uh, administrative character. But it is time to start making claims. 17 months to go for this. These guys are much weaker. Who's what's the alliance networks look like for these people? Yeah, pretty weak. Stronger. Stronger. So attacking into here would be much harder going into Toulouse. So I think it does make sense to move up this way first. And and go for uh for one of these. That's actually a higher. That's actually a higher um development but it doesn't really matter that much doesn't matter that much okay we can we can actually start going back on the war path we're very close to becoming an architect once we do that we'll be able to um, build buildings and, and start investing in our country at a, at, a, at a good discount so we're kind of saving a little bit for that we do want to make sure that she has a guardian um, we do we want to make sure that we're directly educating both of our children or both of our sons i should say we want to be this guy's guardian. 
In terms of actually getting a guardian for our daughter, I think, uh, do we have a second genius in the court or anything like that? No, I think our wife's the best that we got. What culture is our wife? Anglo-Saxon. Low control in this province, it says. Eh, it's not that low, but we might as well use this person to bump it a, a bit. 15 months, that'll be done. Getting some secrets in France still. In the French area. Still increasing um, development in our capital. 14, we're trying to get that up to 20. And this guy's building a claim. This is all looking pretty good. Pretty good. France is winning some different wars. This one is one that we're apparently... Tyranny against the king. Wow. The attackers are going to lose that, though. Learning of some different secrets in the French court. Blackmail some of these peeps. Prestige is actually something we want right now, to be fair. Yeah, I don't think we care much about our mayor. I, I, I don't want to spend prestige right now. Going on a hunt could be good. Reduce our stress a little bit and get some prestige. She has no money. She's just a lowborn. This guy might actually have... No, he doesn't have any money either. Let's try to at least get the hook on him. He said no. We're, lo we're missing 60% chances. 60% odds here. Yeah, it is what it is. We're just exposing them. We're failing the blackmail. I'm actually kind of thinking, do we want to go to Modena instead? 10% chance is pretty low. We go to Burgundy, 40% chance, kind of low. Maybe it's better than nothing, though. Rome, 0% chance. Let's try to find secrets over here instead. Eight ducats a month. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Of course, we need city planning done in order to build um, additional holdings in some of these areas. Alternatively, essentially, we're just going to want to frantically build up these buildings and, and get them upgraded as well. Court physician is getting better at her job. That's fantastic. We're very close to becoming an architect. We're working on building the claims over here. It's about uh, nine months away from being done there. Our counselors died. That was our spy master. She was good at her job. She was good at her job. Let's go finding someone. So if you, who does not have a husband or a wife, it's a 22, which is pretty good. If we were to actually take an unmarried woman of the court, it's our daughter, so... I don't think we want to marry our daughter for this reason. I don't know if we have any unmarried women in our court. So I guess we'll just... Because I think men or women can do this job, right? So in this case, we're just going to have this skilled lady do the role. Interestingly enough, this would actually bring our sister into the court. Make her a little bit happier, too. And she is a genius, after all. So, But I think in this case, we're just going to assign her. Let her do the job. She's a 22. That's pretty good. We're getting into just an insane amount of experience every month because of uh, because of Genius and Fortune Builder and Leisure Steward. And oh, even being Leisure Steward gives us 15%. Wow. That's crazy. We're almost getting twice as much as you would get by default. So now the map looks very different, right? Because. We're seeing France broken into pieces here. Instead of seeing Italy broken into pieces. Very interesting. 
There's a lot of factions that are joining up against, um, that we could join against our liege. Now, quite honestly, if we had a bunch of our fellow, um, if the, the interesting thing is if we were actually fighting for independence. Like if all of these people down here wanted to rise up, it would be worth rising up with them. Who is this guy here? Yeah, no, he's he's not relevant. Good luck with that, dude. It's useful to know are any of these people um, wealthy? He's got some money. She doesn't. He does. Didn't we, we already uh, we already asked we already demanded money from him. this guy though if, if he accepts this we should be able to have him pay for that for that secret we can demand from this guy he'll pay us 65 gold hey he actually paid us so that's actually working correctly but for some reason those ransoms are not working correctly hey, these people have money so they will they will rot in our dungeons till they earn some money somehow. So we are we are now an architect. Fantastic. So that'll make it much cheaper and quicker to build buildings. Quicker is not really that big of a deal, but cheaper is definitely really nice. Pastoral lands gives us income and it gives us extra levies. Seems pretty good. Alternatively, getting these to level two will be really nice. Trade ports are good, but also just getting farm and fields is very good. These buildings are like 30% cheaper probably in total. It's pretty good. Over here we can, yep, see it done. We do want to get that claim. Pastoral, pastoral lands. The hill forts. Pastoral lands. We can't, we can't do the regular fields because there's no flat land there. There's no plains or farmlands in that area. That's good. So we could start just continually invest, invest, invest. Um, once this is done, we'll be able to, to upgrade these and, and we'll focus on making sure that our capital gets upgraded to, to the highest level there. We have a reason to go and attack her. Her allies are stronger than they were a second ago, it seems, but still relatively weak. She's also in jail, which is kind of interesting. So we can go attack for our claim. It's going to cost a very small amount of prestige. Plus, I think we get prestige by winning this. Let's attack. Let's take our rally point over here. And move it next door. Raise everybody up. Move them over. And just move right into here. Start sieging that ASAP. She did merc up. She did get some mercenaries. So apparently she had money to do that. Hmm. It'll be seven months. We're going to siege that. Hopefully that'll be, hopefully this will get sieged before epic music guys, epic music before, um, before she can get to her capital and like start sieging that or something. In fact, what is she doing? Is she going to, is she going to boat over to her capital? Looks like it. This is why it actually would be nice to build that fourth building that increases the gears in here. This is a level three fort though, compared to a level two fort. So this should take longer for them to siege this. Should give us more time to finish out the siege we're working on and then march down here. So yeah, this should take at least at yeah, 10 months. Okay, We have plenty of time, but I will say this is looking a little sketchy here. I don't know if we can build buildings while we're being siege. We might not be able to do that. If all of these guys group up, this could be a problem. Can we can we invite this guy to join the war? It costs us 350. It costs us a lot of prestige to do that. Hmm. Can we go on a hunt? Gain some prestige? I don't know. This is a little bit tricky because if they do dogpile here, we might have to get some mercenaries. We might have to get some mercenaries. I'm going to move the rally point right next to the capital. 
we have plenty of time to think about this, but... Ooh, he got the perfect trick. Holy cow, this guy's a genius. He got the four-star great eminence. So he got the four-star education, where we only got a three-star education. Fantastic. So this guy's got 20 diplomacy. This guy's looking good. This guy's looking good. I don't know who we want to marry him off to right now, but let's move down here quickly, quickly, quickly. We might be able to scare them off of there. It just depends on how they feel about this. But I think we might actually... We got prisoners that we can actually ransom. Ooh, 75. See, this is what I'm confused about. Are we going to get 75 gold or are we not going to get 75 gold? You know what I mean? Are we going to get 75 gold here or not? Wait a second. Did we capture the actual weird? I'm going to try this. Testing, testing. One, two, three. We got 50 gold. Not 75. See, I I don't I don't get that. I, it's just it seems like it's just picking completely random numbers every time. Completely random numbers every single time. We don't want her to get out. Are these the same person? Oh, sorry. Here's the here's the the kid. Yeah. I'll take fifty gold. That time I think we got like five or ten or fifteen or something. I, now I'm confused. Now what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna release this person for a hook. Because she's not going to pay the full cost. So instead what we're going to do is we're going to come down here and demand payment for that hook. And now she gives us 75 gold. See, it, it's just, it's, but the, but the payment, the demand hook payment has to be her, she has to be able to afford that herself. I don't know, stuff like that just, it kind of drives me crazy a little bit. The, the fact that she's paying for it, she's not paying for it, they're lying about, and, and all kinds of stuff. No, I don't think we need to increase. We do not need to increase. We're ambitious, though, so this is going to get us a little upset here. We do not want to lose prestige. I think we're just going to... Yeah, we're ambitious. We're just going to gain a little stress. We're going to let her do whatever the heck she wants. It's fine. We don't care that much about our sister here. Okay, here we go. If we attack, are they going to get scared off? Answer, no. No. What is the cheapest group of mercenaries that we can afford or that we can buy? 750. That would give us overwhelming odds. Okay, let's roll. You guys asked for it. How is it say? Wait, what? Is it say we'll probably lose? Oh, this is nonsense. It's saying that we're probably going to lose this. How would we lose this? We're the defender. We have more men at arms. They do have the horse, the light horsemen, though, but they don't have that many of them, I don't think. We retreated. I did not mean to... Re we I, I accidentally right-clicked because I was looking at the menu there, and it, it said that we retreated. What? They retreated? We retreated? I'm confused. We, we retreated. Okay. So we were winning the battle, but, but I right-clicked and apparently it tried to take us to the ocean. Which makes no sense. Ah, dang it. That's okay. That's okay. Let's roll here, guys. Let's roll. Let's get back there. At least we got him off the capital one way or another. Save all of our money for building buildings in Toulon, Provence. Chances are even. I don't know how it does the math on that at all. Chances are even. We have twice as many troops as them. We have more men at arms. 
We're defending in the mountains. Yeah. Unfortunately, now they're going to be defending in the mountains. Like, the AI knows that we're, like, more powerful than them here. Better army commander? Is that true? 25, okay. That's fine. Whatever. Let's go. Let's go. In the mountains. Into the mountains. This time we're not retreating. Ideally, if we came up into the mountains, if we went down on them, maybe they would we would have caught them, but it's hard to say. I mean, these mercenaries are just, I mean, if they die, they die, you know? There's so many things you have to right-click to clear. It's like crazy that we accidentally right-clicked and we lost that first battle that would have been much more favorable for us. So that was just kind of a bummer situation. I, th I think going down administrator would be good, making us likable and stuff. Um, powerful vassal, low contribution tax. Eh. The reality is the vassals are not going to contribute that much to the cause. Administrator itself gives us a bunch of things we don't really need. Um, but, but just doing things like domestic... Going down this right here, becoming more likable, would probably be very good. And we have obviously a strong amount of experience gained with this uh, this section. So it makes sense to at least do that. And then what we could do is we could swing over and, and work on like theologian or something. If we did want to make our own faith, could be really, really powerful. We're, the, our, we're 39 years old over here. We got, we got a long life to live. We got a long life to live over here. Our economy should be getting bolstered right now by the fact that buildings are coming in and being built. I would uh, continue to build buildings over here. However, you know, no, you know, we probably do want to make that one. We do probably at least want the trade ports where we can, where we're allowed to build them. Oh wow! If these guys actually rally, they could they could dogpile on us here. I'm gonna stand by because I want to see if we can intercept these guys here. Oh, if we can! Oh, if we can catch these guys in the mountains, they're stuck going to the mountains. Yep, we caught them. We caught him. So now we're going to be fighting these guys in the mountains with an inferior general. Now we're the defender. We're the captain now of this of this battle. These guys are going to try to dogpile in, but they're going to they're going to be reinforcing into a. Oh nope, they're smart. Nope, they're not smart because this battle's going to get cleared. They didn't quite get stuck in the combat though. It says we'll lose, but it's not calculating it correctly. It's not calculating it correctly. Because those guys are retreating. They can't fight. Booyah. These these horse, uh, the horse units are not particularly effective in the in the hills. Although neither apparently are our light footmen. Our light footmen are just battered or something. People are dying left and right. Ally combatant was slain. We have won those buildings. Let's continue to bolster these buildings here and build, build, build. So now that we're an architect, we're just going absolutely berserk on this. Uh, we do eventually want to upgrade this to level two. However, we do not have the um, already constructing in this barony missing. We don't have the battlements. The battlements are something that is actually going to be in the early medieval. So we're quite a ways away from that. Hopefully we're very, very close. We're only 16 months away from uh, from getting this, which will allow us to increase our crown authority and give us the ability to actually yoink out uh, this title from this from our sister here, which will be a big thing. So the war is won. Is that an important prisoner? No, it's not. We're going to keep that until they earn a little bit more money. Wait, wait, we can declare war on who? On her? No. On somebody, it said. Oh, we do need to make sure... Oh, it is going to be expensive, but we do need to make sure this guy is, is fabricating additional claims. We're going to need one on Toulouse. We're also going to want one, another one on this guy, because once we take this land, lots of things going on here. This guy's getting swayed up, so he likes us. Let's rotate over to some a vassal that doesn't like us, which could be this guy. 
95% chance to sway him. So just over time, we'll just butter him up. Step by step by step. Increase opinion. Yep. So and so. So our son can get married now. And we definitely want to look for someone who has a good genetics. We can marry someone that's beautiful. Hmm. Dang, I gotta say, this is an intelligent woman here with a very high diplomacy skill. It'd be fantastic. It'd be fantastic. It's a genius down here. It looks like she hasn't. Ooh, this is this is interesting here. We got some Amazonian women. We could double down on. I don't know. Some interesting choices here. Amazonia could pair nicely with the fact that he's a genius, so the kids could get both. Certainly, if if he had a bunch of kids with this genius, they all the kids would be likely to be geniuses. And she has really good base stats. She's not even fully educated yet. Thirteen stewardship is kind of nice. He's already got man. This guy's already got amazing stats. I think we go for uh, someone with with the um with the amazonian let's let's look for an amazonian or it, it's it's if you're a male it's called a herculean if you're if you're a female it's called amazonian so these are three choices here if we do some of all stats this is how it organizes it good learning good stewardship good diplomacy i think this person is going to be able to assist the best there is going to be a loss of prestige unfortunately hopefully they'll recover our son will be able to recover from that i think that's a good marriage there Hmm. This is not great because all these guys seem to have rallied back here. But I think if we take this fort before they take this, I, I like in the next three months, I think it's just going to go up to 100%. I think we're going to just blitz up to 100% there. We're making the claim down here. We're making seven ducats a month. That's while with six ducats being used for raised armies so presumably when we're out of war we're to be just rolling in dough we're also going to be making more money because when we take this it's going to be our land and that'll die into direct holdings 91 percent. please give it us up to 100 percent here nice none of the prisoners we have are going to get released automatically because the uh thing here is at zero so we're going to do that. We'll gain a little bit of fame ourselves for, for executing on that. The war is over. The war is won. Now hopefully we'll be able to swing back in and take this province and keep working on them. They'll be weaker the second time we attack them too, which is nice. Um, it will be five years before that truce is up though. So we are going to need to look over to attacking these guys who have lost a lot of their strength, but they're not weak and they have money potentially in order to raise up uh, mercenaries during the war. Now, we do have our own allies. If we were to have more prestige, we could actually leverage that. To get more prestige, we'd need to go on a hunt. That's going to cost us some money. It's unfortunate. We're also going to have to spend money on the actual thing here. But for the most part, guys, Provence is growing. We're on the war path. We are, we are operating within the larger umbrella of West Francia, and we are trying to actually, in a way, we're actually going for the French provinces. So we're actually going French now, I think, instead of uh, Aquitaine. I think we're going to switch back to French. Is what it seems because a lot of this burgundian land just happens to already be french and we can just kind of lean into that uh, a little bit um, by taking a lot of this land up here unfortunately we can't switch our, our person ourselves but hopefully uh, when our son takes over he can become french thanks everybody for watching this episode if you guys have questions please ask and we will continue in the next episode where we will hopefully do a few more wars and continue to build up our economy and our just develop our country uh, internally and stuff I'm noticing, or actually, well, we'll talk about that in the next episode. Thanks, everybody, for being here. I'll see you guys in the next one. Uh, I'll read and respond to any of the comments down below, guys. Thanks.